Time now for this week's missing case, and it takes us to California. A mother separated from her little girl and a family hitting the streets to investigate where she has gone. News Nation's Nancy Liu joins us live with a closer look at the disappearance of a young woman named Ruthie Smith. Nancy. Marnie, Ruthie Smith was last seen in South L.A. in an area known for prostitution, and her family insists, uh, acknowledges that the 20-year-old had been working as a prostitute largely to support her baby daughter, and that is a key reason they insist Ruthie has not gone missing by choice. You want to see the dolphins? Come here. It's a natural fit for an energetic little girl named Ocean. See above the water? See how they're popping up? Uh, see? The two-year-old loves the shore, also a favorite place of her mother, who spent a lot of time here while growing up in Long Beach and came as an expectant mother for a photo shoot. But Ocean's now spent nearly half of her short life being raised by her grandmother. It makes it hard because I feel like I'm messing up in every little way or any little thing that's wrong. I'm like... Would my daughter do this, or am I doing it the way my daughter would want it done? Ruthie Smith was just 19 when she went missing on March 2nd of last year. It was Catherine who tracked down this, the last known video of her daughter working as a prostitute. She didn't want to do that, and she tried and tried and tried, but it's easier said than done, and they, these girls need professional help with things like that, but it wasn't enough. and. I didn't do enough. Ruthie would work here at 70th and Figueroa, an L.A. neighborhood well known for prostitution at all hours of the day. Today? Our News Nation crew threatened with robbery. We were going through it right before she went missing. I was telling her something bad's going to happen. I just felt it. She weirdly probably felt it too. Ruthie's aunt, more like a sister because of their closeness and age, says just months before her disappearance, the teenager was abducted from these streets. She was taken before by pimps. My sister had to go all the way to Vegas and get her. But that time she was able to use a phone. I'm pretty sure she was able to get contact and that's how we knew where she was. But this time there's been no contact. And after finding this image of a woman she's convinced is her niece, advertised by a so-called gentleman's club, Amanda Lorenko convinced officers in Elko, Nevada to investigate. Ruthie was not found. And the slim hope that we do have that she's still alive is that apparently she's been spotted in some brothels in Nevada where her image has been posted on the website as an individual that's available for services, if you will. Private investigator Moses Castillo has met with the family as their hopes fade that Ruthie would be found like that first time in Vegas. She was taken before, and yet she put herself at risk again. Most of these girls do because they don't have a choice. They're in poverty, and she's a young mom. She had a child to look after, and she wanted to live on her own. Look at this. Ruthie's family says they're fighting hard to convince police the devoted mother, the kind who celebrates a baby's half birthday and throws an elaborate first birthday party, would never leave her daughter for so long voluntarily. The teenager turned 20 and was gone more than a year before Catherine and Ocean were asked for a DNA sample. She was able to make sure that she's on a certain lists, which really made me feel good because I was under the impression she was already on these lists and she wasn't. The list, a federal database called Name Us, uses DNA from families to to help coroners identify John and Jane Doe's, a resource families of the missing often need to push for. Please reach out to your detectives. Don't take no for an answer. Go there and, and be persistent until someone collects your DNA reference sample. Little Ocean growing and making new discoveries. But her grandmother struggles to create happy childhood memories while missing her own baby, Ruthie. I just wanted to come home. like. <laughs> I want her alive, like I want her to be able to live her life as a young 20 year old girl and not be held against her will or whatever the situation is, I don't know, but I just know that she's gone and we don't know where she's at. It's been 461 days and how many more days does it have to be? Ruthie's family tells us that she did try to seek help from a local nonprofit called GEMS, which works to empower women who are being trafficked. And that group helped Ruthie to get her driver's license, which would have been a key piece in trying to get her own apartment. That driver's license arrived in the mail just days after Ruthie went missing. Yeah, 
she Marnie? was trying to seek help in her family, and you got to go with family intuition here. Her mother saying it's just not like her to leave her daughter behind. Uh, they've got to advocate for themselves. It's important. Uh, Nancy, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.